Well, my name is Stuart Gaffney, and this is my husband, John Lewis. And uh, on these steps is uh, where we um, uh, joined on February 12, 2004, at about 11.30 in the morning. Uh, then, after 17 years together, um, we dashed right through the doors behind us and got married. And we came uh, to City Hall Steps because we wanted to show up for a rally to get involved in the movement. And lo and behold, because we decided to show up, uh, it happened to be the very first hour of San Francisco's married folks. And so we brought them right in and got to be one of the first ten couples that got married that day. So, the city knew that a lot of people would want to get married that day, and they had deputized a lot of marriage commissioners. Cool. And so, um, when we heard that it was possible to get married, as John said, we dashed these doors as quickly as possible. Yeah. And we didn't have a witness with us, we didn't have anyone with a camera with us. Um, and um, when we got there, uh, the city's chief tax council was assigned to us to perform the marriage. And I think what was it was truly a life-changing moment for us, and uh, you don't have that many life-changing moments. And it was because in these, you know, sacred halls, we heard those words ring out. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of California, I pronounce you spouses life. And it was truly this moment where I never thought I or we would be there. And at the moment, I just felt chills go up and down. And, uh, I felt, you know, those pockets of sort of shame that you didn't think you were still holding as an openly gay person. I felt them sort of shed. And it was at that moment we heard those words that really we realized we really realized that for the first time in our lives, our government was treating us as equal beings, and it was an extraordinary. Moment. It still did us the inspiration that we got to do absolutely everything to make this a lasting reality for everybody. And the other thing that was so important about it was it was the sense that as gay people, as part of the LGBT community, we were treated equally. It wasn't just about the it was about our human dignity. That's what it is. And because of the way we got married without any friends there, it really, at the moment we exchanged vows, it felt like it was just the two of us. And it was the first time, even after 17 years together, that we had exchanged vows, and it was a profoundly moving experience to be pledging our love to each other at that moment. And we thought certificates from the city and county of San Francisco oh, awesome. and this just means the world to us uh, because as John said it meant the moment when we were treated equally under the law and uh, something that inspired us um, from that day forward and actually through over four years court system is the example of my mom and dad, an interracial couple, my mom's Chinese, my dad's English and Irish, uh, who were only able to marry legally in California because California led the way 60 years ago in overturning the state law banning interracial couples from marriage. That made it possible for my mom and dad to get married um, at UC Berkeley, same place where they met. Um, after they married legally, though, they moved all around the country um, to different states, and their marriage and our family were treated differently under the law in every one of those states. And when they moved to Missouri, they were told that their marriage was legally null and void in Missouri. Uh, because it wasn't until 19 years later that the U.S. Supreme Court overturned all the remaining state laws against interracial couples. Wow. The, the other thing that uh, it's very powerful about where we are right now on the steps of San Francisco City Hall uh, is that, you know, the, uh, the marriage that we had in February of 2004, six months later, it was uh, declared uh, invalid because the mayor didn't have the authority to act on his own. So then we joined the lawsuit uh, 
uh, in California to have the full freedom to marry for all loving and committed couples. And countless times we have come back to these stairs in the ups and downs of this marriage equality struggle. And we were here on the night uh, when the Supreme Court uh, declared uh, the marriage is invalid. And I remember Stuart uh, shouting to the crowd here, the court is out of order. Uh, yeah. And then we've come back in all the different things over and over. And then the most wonderful thing was that June 17, 2008, we came back to these stairs again. This time with all our living parents, brothers and sisters, cousins and friends. And we walked through those same doors together as family and friends. And we got fully legally. So this place means a lot to us, and uh, truly, it's it's not just City Hall; it's you know, it's our City Hall. Uh, it's very part of our lives. And at that moment that we got married, on June seventeenth, two thousand eight, it was an amazing moment, uh, surrounded by our loved ones, um, but also surrounded by our community. Hundreds of couples got married right here in City Hall that day um, and experienced that same joy. Um, but as we exchanged vows, it was so meaningful to us to have our parents there um, and for my mom and dad to witness another generation in our family experiencing the freedom to marry. Um, it was really a very profound moment uh, for us as a family as well. What was it like being a lead plaintiff couple during those uh, years during the uh, lawsuit? Well, we found it to be just a tremendous opportunity to do something that was very important to us. And that was to, to offer our lives, um, to help show uh, to the wider, broader public that LGBT people are full human beings. We're not just a stereotype. The stereotypes we might be. We're actually fully loving human beings, and uh, many of us, like the two of us, we have a committed relationship that's filled with love. Uh, and we really sought to connect with people who don't yet get it, to build empathy, because empathy is uh, something that it never hurts to have more of in this world. And that has been our main mission, is to connect, to build empathy, uh, not just for the free of America, but connection between LGBTI people and Being plaintiffs in the lawsuit was the best way to honor our vow to be together for better or for worse. And during those years since we first went through these doors in 2004, uh, we've experienced a lot of ups and downs, but knowing that we were together for better or for worse. Um, and it's an amazing thing. Uh, we're all part of historic change. It's amazing to think uh, how quickly uh, so much has happened in this movement, in this country at this time. And of course, how much there is still to go. Uh, but um, we're living at a time where our country is finding its way on these very issues. Um, and it's so exciting to be uh, right here in the middle of it. So many of those moments. Oh.